is Edwidge. I go by Eddie and I'm here to discuss my journey with cancer. I was diagnosed with um, stage 2B cancer at the age of 35 last year on August 28th and it definitely came as a shock. I wasn't expecting to have cancer. I had just come off of running five half marathons and very active in the CrossFit community and then to be uh, bombarded with a diagnosis of cancer definitely took me by surprise. So through my journey, I've learned a lot um, and also have felt empowered and wanted to share my experience and what I've learned with other young women that are survivors. Uh, I was also diagnosed with the BRCA1 gene, which helped me to inform my family of their risk of breast cancer because I was the first family member to be diagnosed with breast cancer. So being the first one, I kind of had to navigate the waters myself and figure out what kind of resources which were out there and what would be available to me. The first thing I wish I knew was there is no right way to do cancer. Um, there might be close friends that you know that have had cancer, parents, grandparents, but your journey is your journey alone and you should do it the way you feel fit and comfortable. Live your life to the fullest and do what makes you happy. I was told to be careful with possible lymphedema complications, but I didn't let that stop me and I continued to do my weightlifting, which I attribute to my fast recovery from my double mastectomy and getting through chemo and just continuing on. Another thing I did was set some happy and simple goals for myself post-treatment, such as a half marathon in another country with one of my closest friends. So I went ahead and ran a half marathon in um, Niagara Falls after I was done with treatment in June and it wasn't my fastest time but it was my most accomplished race because it was my new body, my new me saying, you know what Cancer, I own myself, you don't own me. Uh, another thing is I never tried to compare my journey to somebody else's or how fast they were progressing or how much chemo was impacting them. I really tried to measure myself against myself. I didn't really worry about, you know, exactly how everybody else was doing because that wouldn't be fair to myself. In addition to that, I was very comfortable with the tumor type I had and knowing about it. Therefore, I could ask the right questions to my doctors and find out if there were studies that I was appropriate for. So really knowing what your tumor type is, is very important. And allow yourself to cry for a day, but then you need to go ahead and put that you know, aside and pick yourself up and carry on and have a positive attitude and reach out to other young survivors. They really are the ones that have been there through it and can help you the most. So reaching out to a YSC organization or meet up in your area is really, really beneficial. And basically my message is cancer doesn't have to define you or be you, you can define it and you can be in charge of your own health and destiny. Thank you for listening.